This is Adam B. Hi, this is Adam B. Hello, how are you? Okay, um, two, yeah, about two weeks ago, uh, my aunt called me. She has a 12 inch power book, and uh, it wasn't booting. She was having problems. And I asked her to hold the, uh, the phone up to the laptop, and it made a noise. It made a noise that people who know hard drives and stuff didn't like. So, uh, she needed a new hard drive. So I ordered her a new hard drive, went over there, and I installed it. Now, yes, I wanted to film that, taking apart the 12-inch power book. I couldn't do the filming because um, it wasn't here. It wasn't at home, and it would have been a little weird. I know a little weird is, is normal for me, but what can you do? So what I have here is her dead hard drive. So I'm going to disassemble this hard drive and uh, let you hear, uh, let you see what it looks like inside. Oh, but first, I want you to hear what it sounded like. So what I have here, I have this device, which lets me turn an internal drive into a usable USB drive. Here is, this is a 15 inch power book. I use it for work. Doesn't belong to me, it belongs to my company, but um, I get to take it home at night. And when I open the lid on this, this is going to get powered up. Oh, wait, I can almost hear it already. Can you hear it? It's ticking. When I heard it, it was going clank, 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 clank. The, uh, the head inside was just making an awful noise. It was banging against the sides. It was terrible. It was scary is what it was. Okay, so I've never opened one this size before. So let's get some tools in place. Okay, so to get inside, we don't need to take off the circuit board on the bottom. We do need to take off the top of the can here. Yes, this is the Torx T6. We'll just pop these screws right out. Here's me unscrewing stuff again. One. These screws, they're also great for um, mixing into chili if you want to break somebody's tooth. Okay. It's four. This is the fifth one. Okay, so that loosened up the top of the can. Now, it's on here pretty tight because, you know, they don't really want people taking these things off. If you open this up outside of a clean room, and believe me, there's plenty of dust here. Um, you know, one tiny speck of dust gets on the uh, the drive platter, or in between the drive head and the drive platter, and the drive is basically done for. That's a hard crash, and it's basically never useful again. Also, if the drive head starts banging around like, like a... Uh, like the ball inside a, a, a can of Krylon. And then it's also basically useless too. I'm just gonna manhandle this a little. And that in there is the drive platter. This round disky thing here. That is the highly polished aluminum or aluminum for us Americans. Um, disc with it's got a magnetic coating on it see it's so smooth you really can't even tell that I'm turning it um, but I am oh, I've already torn the aluminum in half apparently and now the label comes off and yeah, I'm getting rather nice Ooh, that's even smaller okay why did that fall out of there? Because there's magnets in here. There's a magnet that controls the servo mechanism that moves the head back and forth. It's you know, part of a whole electromagnetic assembly. Okay, tops off. And here, officially, is the inside of a three and a half inch, sorry, two and a half inch hard drive. Here's the platter. Here's the read right head, which in this case would be the read wrong head. Um, 
this, the position of the read write head, and you gotta remember there's hundreds and hundreds of tracks, if not thousands. Well, it's a 60 gig drive, so who knows. But there's many, many, many tracks in there. And the, um, I just want to be seen. The, um, the read write head is controlled by an electromagnet, and it's up. Well, that is new mail for me. Um, hey, maybe it's from one of you guys. Um, so there's these, this magnet under here that helps. And there's an electromagnet, and current is applied, not applied, and that helps control the position of the read write head. So the thing to do now is get back on that T6, I believe. And I'm going to try and remove this plate. They don't really put any of the little blue screw glue on to prevent you from taking the screws out because they don't expect you to go inside these things. But they're, they don't, they're not expecting me. Okay, let's see what I get. I'm going to take this out. No, not yet. There's stuff in the way. There's many, many, many parts in here. And some of them may have to be um, treated severely. So basically, I'm just going to take out all the screws I can until things just start falling out. Uh, that was all the screws I can. Okay. Oh, I know what's... I know what's holding this plate in place here. Magnetism! But I'm gonna use my angled needle nose pliers and pry it off. Okay, right back here is one of the strongest magnets that you'll probably ever handle. Okay, now I have a very strong magnet. Had I only prepared and brought something metallic, well here, watch. All right, that's, that's a good, strong magnet. That's one. See, and here's this copper coil. And you know, electricity flows through there, and, and, and then all works the mechanism and, you know, makes stuff happen. Look, look at all the data. Hey, look, there's, there's, there's an email she wrote to me last month. I'm just going to... Leave it like this. You see, there's a very strong magnet in there. So, okay, well, this is uh, this has been Adam B. Disassembling a hard drive. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, now I'm gonna go stick some stuff to my refrigerator. See ya. I finally took it all apart, and I wanted to give uh, everyone a look. So here's the top lid that you saw me pry off. Here's the base that everything. Uh, was that everything set in the uh, platters set here on the other side was the circuit board and here's that circuit board um, here's some screws here's a uh, just a cushion that sat below the platters here are this is the magnet I took out before this is the other magnet ow that hurt see there's very strong magnets um, this is actually the actuator arm. The read-write head is all the way in here. This is, I don't know, part of the other mechanism. It was on the side. Here's um, a little circuit board that helps control the thing. Here's some more screws. Here's the platters that uh, were on there. That reflection is the uh, lighting fixture over my table. This is the... Um, this is the, 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 the cap that held them both onto the spindle. This is the little ring that held them apart. And oddly enough, here's a salad crouton. This salad crouton just ended up in here. I'm not sure how. I don't remember taking it out of the drive. But it could have ended up there because I am in the middle of making dinner. 